talking about uh, the game itself. We didn't think of it as it's the canvas and we're giving people the paint and stuff to create anything. We're just like, let's see what they do with the game. You know, it was just like, we're just gonna, you know, create this cool thing, open it up and see what happens. And there were a lot of vectors for things to happen. Um, the fact that in the games we had par times for, for how fast we could get there provided, you know, this quantifiable uh, thing that people could com compete around, which is getting through the game faster. And then people um, basically created all these other ways of competing, in which immediately uh, created a site called the Doom Honorific Titles. And people had to provide demos of them getting through the game you know, like the Schwarzenegger title, where you're getting through the game just punching everything, and you can't, you know, you can't use a, a weapon at all. Um, and they, had, you know, they, they had a lot of different terminologies, and, and the site still exists today. If you want to do a Google for Doom on Earth titles, you'll see the demos over all the years of people trying to get these titles in the fastest times. It's like Doom done quick, Quake done quick, where people put together these 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 demos of themselves getting through the games very very quickly, and. Um, after seeing that, uh, you know, just that vector of modifiability and people's uh, engagement around the game, um, right after releasing Quake, I, I uh, came up with the idea, and, and still haven't done this um, yet, <laughs> but basically the idea of challenging people to get through a level really quickly and post their, their um, demos was, was something that was kind of happening on a website, but I wanted to, to kind of put that in a game. I wanted the game to have um, challenges around every one of its levels, much like I guess the way Portal does. Portal has, you know, the different rankings for different for uh, for, for getting through the game uh, in different times. But uh, but I, what I wanted was like a leaderboard built into the game. So you're playing a single player game that's also a multiplayer game, and it's also a game that has challenges built in around leaderboards and you know it basically around the world. So people could post to a central server through the game itself. The game would basically go, okay, you're gonna challenge, you know, E2, M5, and the guy who's got the highest score is blocked with 40 seconds, and go, and it starts recording you playing the game, and at some point, you know, if you get on the leaderboard, it would tell you, and do you wanna submit this? And, um, and I don't think that that's happened yet in, in the game, but I'm excited to do that, because I love, uh, you know, Deathmatch was all about competition, and uh, any way that we could get competition more organized inside the game, the way Rocket Arena, um, you know, Quake 3, you know, that's, that stuff, um, I guess, is just even more, if there's more excitement around the game, and of course, eSports just took off and, and uh, provided, you know, lots of money for people who are really at 